Dear Kathleen, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I still remember some of the first words I thought about you being, you were the brightest shade of sun I've ever seen. And those words still ring very much true. And you are really one of the best things to happen to me ever in my life. And as I'm writing this, I'm thinking of how early on I was really enamored with you, being this awesome person and being so beautiful. But I didn't really know you yet. Now I feel like I know you and you know me, uh, though there's still so much more we really don't know about each other. I'm about to marry you and I cannot wait to spend our lives together. You are truly better and more wonderful than I ever dreamed. You are such a man of honor and integrity and I always feel perfectly safe with you. You are the man of my dreams and I could not be more thankful for you. You are a model of Christ. You are humble, selfless, and true. You fight for people. You're full of passion and compassion. I experience the love of Christ more fully because of you. I want to tell you what an honor it's been to walk through this process with Michael and Kathleen. My wife and I have had the privilege of walking through the pre-marriage process with them, and I want to commend them to you. They are a people who pursue God with all of their heart, who want to know God's heart for them, for their future marriage, for how they can love and serve one another. And it was a testimony to the longevity of their marriage, the way that they pursued the Lord in the midst of getting ready for it. I'm so proud of you guys. And I want you to know that they have done incredibly well. I want to love you more each day and be humble enough to truly let God grow us together into one. So thank you for loving me. Thank you for calling me up to be a better man and you make me want to love Christ more. And I really am the luckiest guy alive. I adore you and I cannot wait to live life with you. There's no one else I'd rather be with. You're my favorite and I love you so much. Michael, you've been given the task of loving Kathleen in the same way that Jesus loves the church and loves you. You are charged with laying your life down for her. You are charged with stewarding her dreams and her heart with integrity and with faithfulness and with love. And Kathleen, in this same passage, it says, Wives, submit to your husbands as unto the Lord. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also should wives submit to their husbands in everything. Kathleen, it is a joy to submit to one who loves you as Jesus does. And as Michael walks and fulfills his role of loving you as best he can, as Jesus loved the church, you will find a joy in submitting yourself to his leadership because He will always carry your best interest at heart. He will dream with you, and He will get behind your dreams. I, Michael, take you, Kathleen, to be my wife. I, Kathleen, take you, Michael, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor. In sickness and in health, until death do us part.
Michael, and Kathleen, it is my privilege and honor to pronounce you man and wife. As their first act of marriage, I'm going to pray a blessing over them and I would ask that you would bow your head. <laughs> they knew this was coming. I'm gonna ask that you would bow your head and, and agree with me. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for Michael and Kathleen. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that they would learn to lay their lives down for one another, that they would learn to seek your face together, and that they would learn to embrace adventure with you from this day and for the rest of their lives. Father, we are so thankful to be witnesses to this, and we bless them. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Michael, you may kiss your bride. to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Mike.